Welcome to another video tutorial on AI. Today, I want to talk about Suno AI. I go to the suno.com website, and you should see something like this. To create music, sign in using the button and choose a method. For me, it's always faster to sign in using Google, so I will use that. Once you're logged in, you can complete your profile and check your credits. You get a few free credits to play around with, but if you plan to use the music for commercial projects or YouTube videos, it's better to get a subscription so you have the license to use it. So what should you do first? I suggest doing some research, listening to some popular songs, and seeing what prompts were used to generate those songs. I can play a song as an example. I didn't ask for, it never for each song, you can see on the right what was used to create that song. For example, for this one, you can see the title at the top, the style of music, and then the lyrics. You can also use the search button to look for a specific song. For instance, I can search for love and get songs that have those keywords. There are different ways to sort them, so I can choose trending. This one has 4,000 plays, so let's listen. This way, you can get inspiration for your songs. Once you have an idea of what you want, click the Create button. This interface offers more settings, but if it's too much for you, you can switch. I think this is the default option. To create a song, all you need is a song description. Here, you can select a model you want to use, depending on whether you want a regular song or something more creative, though some might find it more offensive. These are the models for writing the song, and you also have models for generating the music. Usually, the newer versions are better. At the moment, version 4 is pretty good. However, you can leave everything on default and just describe your song. Let's say I want a song about a cat in love. Then, I hit create. You need to wait until you see a play button to play it. See that red dot on the left? That means I haven't played it yet, and it's a new song. As you can see, every time you hit generate, it will always create two songs for you. You can see the title and the style of music it used. Let me hit play and watch on the right what lyrics it generated for me. So green like sparkling wine. Let's play the second song. Whiskers twitch and tails and twine. Now, the problem is that we don't have a lot of control over what it says and the style of music this way. So, I like to enable custom mode, and now we have more options. You can add a song manually here with all the lyrics, or you can use AI to write it and still have control afterward. For example, if I click on full song, I can now enter a prompt or a description of the type of song I want. The more details you provide, the better. So if I just put something simple like a cat in love and click on write lyrics, AI will generate the lyrics for me. It gives me two songs and I can read the lyrics to see which is better. Then click on select this option. It will add that text here and now I can change it. Maybe I don't like a word or want to add or remove a verse so you have more control. Once you're done with the lyrics, you can add keywords about the style of music you want. You can see suggestions at the bottom but you can also type a word and get more suggestions of styles you can use. Uh, you're limited here to 200 characters. Then you have the title of the song, so you can find it more easily later, but you can change the title even after the song is generated. Once you're done, you can hit Create. You can also activate the instrumental option if you don't want lyrics. Now you can decide on just the style of music. For example, I can type a piano solo, romantic, and add a title. Everything will go by default to my workspace. These are like folders that store your songs. If I click here, you can see I created a few. You can create a new workspace and give it a name like romantic songs, then hit create. Now all the songs I generate will be stored in that workspace. You can decide where you want it before hitting create. Let's hit create. Wait for the songs to be generated. You can hit create multiple times. While I wait, you can see my other workspace and the songs I've generated. 
I mostly do music for my other YouTube channel called Alt Flux, where I create ambience videos. Now we can see the play button, but the song isn't fully generated yet. As you can see, it doesn't have the song duration, it only has some lines. If I go to another song that's finished, you can see the duration. Usually, Suno generates random lengths ranging from 2 to 4 minutes. Okay, let's see how the piano song sounds like. You can also go to Explore, and this will give you more ideas for styles you can use. You just click on some of the keywords, and the music will start playing for that style. Uh, let's go back home and let me show you how I actually create my song with the help of AI. So we know we need lyrics, the style of music, and a title. What I like to do is use ChatGPT for that because I can chat with it and ask for changes. I created this long formula and I'll add it on Discord so you can get it for free if you'd like. I just copy it and paste it into ChatGPT. If I scroll down, you can see it asks for some details like the theme, style, and other preferences. Let's say I want a love duet for a cat in love with a mouse, a female and male duet with a chorus. And look at that. I get all the information I need for the title, style, and lyrics. We have the verses, the chorus, a bridge, and an outro. So it's an organized song structure. If I like it as is, I can copy and paste it into Suno, or I can ask for more changes. So here I paste only the lyrics, then I put the title here. For the style, I have this text and I place it here. You can decide which workspace to put it in, then hit create. If something doesn't sound right, you can ask ChatGPT to change it and regenerate the song. Let me show you what other options you have while we wait. For every song, you have this three dot menu where you can extend a song, reuse that prompt if the song was nice and you want to make more songs like that get stems or edit the song's details like the title and cover. You can also crop the song or replace a section of it. For example, I can change the title of the song. You can also mark your favorites so you can find them more easily. You can add them to a playlist. And most importantly, there's the download button, which lets you download the format that works for you. For better quality, I download the WAV format. Once it's prepared, you can click download to save it to your computer. Let's play the songs to see what we got. Ooh, whiskers twitch and hearts collide. A feeling's gaze, a gentle stride in the moon. Let's say I want to transform it into a rock song now, and I'll get a rock version of the song on that theme from ChatGPT. Now we can repeat the steps. We copy and paste the title. Then we have the style of music like rock love duet and paste it here. Now I want to copy the lyrics, but I want to edit them. The Suno area is a bit small for editing. So I like to open notepad and paste the lyrics there so I can edit them more easily. You saw that the instructions for what we need are inside square brackets, like intro, and verse. I make sure all of them are in that format. Sometimes it adds round brackets, but we use those when we want to repeat a few words, like in the chorus. For example, if the woman sings something and then the word is repeated by the choir after, I can put that in round brackets like, can't you? Now, everything looks good, but here it says guitar solo with heavy drums. If I leave it like that, it will sing those words, so I don't want that. Instead, I'll add it separately after the instrumental break or combine it there. Keep in mind that it's more like guiding the AI on what to do. It doesn't always follow the instructions perfectly, but it does help. I'll add the word desire, change the outro, and make the last word pure, like acquire or echo at the end. 
Now I can paste the edited lyrics back into the lyrics area and we can hit create to get the songs. See how cool it sounds when it sings the word pure that I put in round brackets at the end. I also use a short formula for instrumental songs just to guide ChatGPT. I copy and paste it and it gives me a random prompt. You can ask for another one if you want random songs. Let's say I want a harp solo and it gives me something like this. Now, it doesn't have many words, but if you can't get a style, uh, usually shorter prompts improve it. It's very strange, but sometimes with five or ten words, I get better songs than with 50 words. I enable instrumental only, then paste those styles here, give it a title, and hit create. Once it's ready, we can play it to see if we got what we need or if we need to try something else. You can join my Pixroma Discord server to have access to all kinds of AI resources. You can find the link in the header of the channel. Just accept the invite and you'll have access to all sorts of channels. To talk about this video, you can use this AI to play channel or the music AI channel. For resources, use the resources channel where you can get the prompts I use and paste them into ChatGPT or any other AI you have, like Gemini, Claude, or others. Leave a like and a comment if you found something useful. Thank you.